so I had trouble. So I'm making this video because um, Dell didn't want to help me out with uh, reconfiguring the server that I originally ordered. Uh, the server I bought originally only had the software RAID, the S30, I believe. It's a uh, just whatever. Like the server I bought is a Dell R730 server for our school. Um, and I made a mistake. You know, I, I needed a hardware RAID controller to install the SXI hypervisor on it. And, you know, I didn't catch it. My IT manager didn't catch it. You know, everyone makes mistakes. So we wanted to see if we can have, like, a, a way to actually upgrade the controller. Uh, and Dell's like, nah, there's no way to actually, there's no upgrade path that we officially support. Um, so, all right. So can we return it? Is what we said, we asked. And um, over here right now, you see, as I'm, I'm doing, uh, I'm removing the cables that go from the uh, back plane to the actual motherboard where the uh, the software rates hosted. Um, and Dell didn't want to return it. You know, they didn't want us to pay them money to reconfigure the server to install a hardware raid. Uh, they gave us trouble, like, no, we did it right, whatever. Uh, we also went through the the vendor that sold us to uh, the server, they said they couldn't help. So I go online, do some research, uh, you know, and I find I find out that I might be able to do this. So I ordered uh, two things. I bought the actual hardware uh, RAID controller, which you'll see right here. I bought it through a vendor. It's secondhand. It's not brand new. Um, they did a good job. I'm sure you can find out where to buy it. Uh, it's a Perk 8730 integrated rate controller, as you can see there. It has its own proprietary uh, connector. It's it's not even a PCI. It's just Dell with their weird connectors and whatnot. Um, you know, just yeah, I'm here just showing you what the, what it looks like. I'm also recording this after the fact, uh, and it just kind of drops in. Uh, you know, you have to be a little careful with it. Make sure uh, you you don't like move it too much, and the pins actually make contact with the other pins. Uh, but it kind of just drops right in. It's not a thing crazy. Um, and here's the part that just basically does all the magic. Um, it's a mini SAS uh, connection from the backplane to the actual controller. But it's a perk. It's a it's perk to backplane cable Dell part RG13T. Uh, what it does, it basically has the mini SAS to the actual connector that communicates with the har uh, hardware RAID controller. It's a perk cable proprietary stuff you know what are you gonna do so i i actually got that from them on a whim like i you know you go online you find certain things you're like oh this might work this might work i'm making this video because this actually does work um so um in a little bit all you're gonna see is basically you know the install of it and i think i'll you know it's nothing crazy like you 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 put a little pressure in you, it kind of just drops in. It's rubber, that particular part in the middle. Um, you put you have to put a little bit of pressure into it. Um, I'm here being a little bit uh, cautious because, you know, you don't want to break the two components that you just bought. Uh, you know, you put it in. You screw out. You screw in the two uh, bolts. Uh, sorry, not bolts. Sco uh, screws. And then you just route it and connect it to the back plane, uh, the A and B portions of it. Prior to that, like I didn't mention this because I kind of cut this pretty small. There's a fan, a fan shroud on top of it. You just remove that. And the fan assembly, which has two levers on the top and on the bottom, you raise those up. You just kind of pull it out. Ugh, I didn't really go over it, but it's nothing crazy. Uh, I sped this particular part up because, you know, uh, I'm sure if you take your time, you can kind of route this correctly. Um, that's, that's basically the entire setup. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna check cause, um, I should have the, the actual, uh, video of the, the BIOS where it detects the perk control just to kind of show you that it does. Uh, I know nobody, you know, you may, you may not take the word of a YouTube video and whatnot to, to, to make your purchases and justify, hey, I did some research and, um, you know, this works very, you know, this actually works. Uh, we, we're not going to have to have, cause I've seen people, I go on tangents, my bad. Um, I've seen people say, Hey, I have these brand new servers, but I can't use them. They've been stuck for a year. I'm like, what you've had certain, I thought I was going to be in that rut. Like, I thought there was no way to fix this. 
Um, here I am just putting the uh, fan assembly back. Again, it's basically the reverse. You drop it in, kind of align it, push it down a little bit, and, put, and pull the levers down. Uh, and then you just put the fan shroud on, uh, right on top of it, place it. You don't need any pressure for the fan shroud. I'm not even, yeah, I'm pretty sure I do put it back on. There you go, boom. Put it back on, nothing crazy. Put the lid. Um, and I'm going to... I'm gonna show you that uh, yeah, the the controllers both picked up and recognizes drives, and you can make a new RAID five array for your ESXi hypervisor. Now, sorry for the potato quality phone recording a monitor uh, quality, but over here I just want to show you that. Um, you know, the actual BIOS recognizes the controller. Uh, I also demonstrate that, hey, you can create a RAID 5 array. I kind of stumbled through it, but, you know, it's it works. I, uh, it's just... It, oh, well, I think I have to blur that out. Yeah, has my uh, <laughs> service tag in there, but I think I'll fix that in, in, in a little bit. It's going to be great. Um, so, yeah, I call it storage, whatnot. Uh, it's... You know, nothing crazy. Uh, and let's see. Let's leave it with right back. Read ahead. Because you, know, you want to take advantage of a nice little read array. Uh, fast initialization. Although, you know, if you have sensitive data, you may want to do the full initialization. But these were straight off the, the uh, straight out of the box servers. Actually, I, I had to do this twice because I... One was my test case. I made sure it worked, and then I bought another one. So, um, that's it. Uh, don't. This shouldn't last much longer, but I guess we'll kind of watch together because I forgot what I recorded. Uh, yep. Created that virtual disk. Operation was created successfully. Blah blah blah. Actually, if you go back, if if you notice them, it, it should show you that I had both the software RAID and the hardware RAID. 5.45 terabytes of space available in that RAID array. Right there, if you look at it, at the bottom it says S130 configuration utility. So it has both of them in there. Um, that's it. I mean, there's nothing to it. It's really straightforward, but Dell doesn't help you out. 